Community as a Path to Meeting the Six Human Needs. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 326. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Gene Siebel, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit Organization. This is a weekly progress update number 326, June 23rd, 2019 edition. One Community is bringing together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet and creating self-replicating and sustainable teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And today, what I'd like to talk about is community as a path to meeting the six human needs, which I touched on last week a little bit in last week's update. When I talked about uh, community as a pathway to, to sustainable happiness. And that foundation of sustainable happiness is about community as a path to meeting the six human needs. And those six human needs, as I discussed last week, are, are growth, connection, contribution, significance, certainty, and variety. And I want to go into depth on each one of those. Because everything that we're designing or showing in the background of this video here are the foundations for that. See, we're creating an evolution of sustainability that takes the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and we're combining them with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as highest good approaches to fulfilled living, highest good education models, highest good economic models, and true earth stewardship. We're putting all these things together as an evolution of sustainability to provide a way of living that we think that most people will consider to be better than the way they're living now. And it'll be that way. It'll be better than the way that most people are living right now because it's specifically designed to meet six foundational human needs to happiness and fulfillment. And we have a whole page on our website about this as well. But the crux of it is this. The foundational needs are growth, connection, contribution, significance, certainty, and variety. And each one of those contributes, and there's a bunch of science and research that's been done on this. We studied a whole bunch of different models for human happiness when we were creating one community. And we settled on these foundations because we felt that they best exemplified who we wanted to be as people. Like what we wanted to contribute to the world and what we felt really was what the essence of humanity really is. And that essence, these six human needs, uh, that's what I'm going to talk about. So growth. You know, one community is designed to be a place where people are having more fun. They're enjoying their living experience more because it's a constant environment of growth. And, and most people seek growth as a foundation of their being. Most people want to know that they're constantly growing and evolving and getting better in some way, shape, or form. And one community is meant to embody that by taking the entire environment and building around the concept of providing ways for people to grow and evolve and also to help the world grow and evolve as well through open source and free sharing all the tools tutorials resources do it yourself instructions of what we're doing as well as the fulfilled living practices and all of those aspects so as one community is built and the villages that you see happening here in the background of this video come into being there's specific places designed so that we can hold constantly hold growth opportunities classes and uh, exercise and health and fitness and art and social recreation and architecture all those aspects are put together in one place so that within walking distance you can have everything that you would need or want to bring yourself joy to grow and improve yourself and that taps into connection which is the second human value so remember we're talking about community as a path to meet the six human needs and if you think of a city as a giant community it provides all of these human needs in one way or another. What we want to do is build eco-communities, sustainable communities, teacher demonstration hub communities as a path to better meeting those needs. And so, of course, if we can make that easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate that idea is attractive enough by doing this, then the idea will spread its own. And so the second human need, first being growth, the second one is connection. And the idea with communities is that by bringing together a community of people with shared values, and in our case, the consciousness for the highest good of all being our top shared value with a purpose and a vision and a mission that we all agree on, we can work together, we can connect together with that goal. And through the growth and through the connection, and the third value, which is contribution, we can contribute to world change together to create a better world for ourselves, for our families, for our friends, and for everybody. And so the connection idea of community is that when you come together, if you've ever come together with people that you care about and built something together, the feeling of completing that 
together, of working together on a major project. And we've been working on this project now for nine years. I've made amazing friends and amazing connections through this, but it pales in comparison to the connections and the amazing feeling that we'll have when we're on the property working together to create this. And I've had that experience before. I've been in community before and had the experience of building something, working together on something and saying, yes, we finished that. Look at what we've done and then enjoying the fruits of our labors. And that's what I want to create as a lifestyle for myself. You know, hundreds of people working together with a common vision of creating a world that works for everybody within our lifetime. Building this community is a path to meeting the six human needs and the biggest of those being growth, connection, and contribution being the third one. So growing throughout the path of communing together and connecting together and contributing to each other, each other's growth, holding each other accountable to this idea of living and creating for the highest good of all, doing our best to grow as individual people, but also contributing to each other and growing together as we contribute to the world community, as we open source and free share everything. And our entire model is designed with the free sharing aspects of it built into the very foundations of what we're doing so that everything is open source, everything is free shared, so that other people, if they disagree the way, the way that we're doing it, maybe their human needs are different. Maybe their values differ from the ones that we think are most important that we studied and said, hey, these are what most people live by. Maybe there's something else that they value. We think they fit into these six categories, but maybe they don't. Maybe they want to do it differently. And so we're open sourcing and free sharing everything to make that possible. And so contribution is the third foundational human need, is contributing to ourselves, to each other, to our local communities, to our national community, to our global community, to tribe and family humanity, to create a better world for everybody and a world that works for everyone. And so the other three needs are significance, certainty, and variety. Significance being doing something of value, knowing that you have value. And within one community, the idea is that every person is contributing to something bigger than themselves. And so every person is important to that contribution. And what they bring to the team is important to the contribution. We carry the same values. We carry the consciousness for the highest good of all. But each one of us brings our individuality to the team to express that and to make our, our, our collective group more successful by what it is that we add, whatever the skill set is that we have, whatever it is that we add to the team. And then certainty, the certainty aspect of it is knowing that things are going to be okay. You know, and so there's a lot of people that like our project because they see it as a way for preparing for the worst, being able to grow your own food, being able to build your own home, have your own energy, knowing that the grid's not going to, if the grid goes down, it's not going to affect you, knowing that your food is healthier than the food that you buy in the grocery store because you grew it yourself, you know the quality of the soil, you know that there weren't any pesticides or fungicides sprayed on that, you know that the water that you're drinking is healthy and that the air that you're breathing is healthier because it's not constantly polluted with smog and other toxins. Um, that kind of certainty is important to a lot of people. It's important to a lot of people's families. And so we want to provide a way for people to achieve that as well, to be able to have the certainty that you're living in integrity in every moment of your life and that you are supporting the environment that you live in, not destroying it, and that everything in your environment is supporting you as well, your food, your air, your water, your community. And so, and then the last one is variety, which ties back into growth and connection. Because the social architecture and designs of one community are designed to provide huge amounts of variety in people's lives. And not just variety in things to do, but varieties in the people that you're interacting with. A shared common set of values, but variety in that you're working with people and community, in community with people from all over the world. Coming together with a common vision and common goal, but with very different life stories and very different backgrounds. And that you're in an environment where you have a variety in what you're doing. You're not sitting at a desk job working the same thing every single day. Instead, you might be building one day and working with food the next day and working with children the next day. Helping to uh, work with visitors the next day after that. And maybe something completely different the day after that. Running different classes, participating in different classes. Huge amounts of variety. And so... As much as I can say, I mean, that's eight minutes that I've talked about this now, and I could go on for another half an hour, read the web page, look at what it is that we're doing, but this is how we're creating communities to path to meeting the six human needs, and without going any longer into it, I will say, look at the website if you want to learn more, and here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments, all volunteer, non-profit, non-governmental organization working towards this goal as community, as a path to meeting the six human needs. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models.
This week, Brianna Olson, sustainability researcher, completed her third week researching the most sustainable insulation options. This week, she focused on adding the specifications of each product that were still missing, contacting the specific companies for answers to remaining questions, further looking into straw bale construction fire resistance, and initial content creation for the tutorial. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, finished week 163 working on the Earth Bay Village. This week, he continued updating the south wall to improve the views from the windows there. Dan Ellick, designer and illustrator, completed his 46th week helping with Earth Bay Village renders. This week, he finished work on the people, plant, and texture updates to this final view of the Earth Bay Village looking southwest. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 56th week developing the Murphy Bed instructions. This week's focus was finishing the next round of revisions and updates for the bed frame section shown here. Now it goes to the core team for testing in 3D. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, Tanya Griffin, Aubrey Ann Boyle, and Allie Marsh, interior designers from Lotus Design Pros, completed their 26th and final week helping. This finished the Duplical City Center interior design details, and what you see here is the complete storyboard set for all their amazing work. Uchiao Zhang, architectural designer and drafter, completed his fifth week helping finalize the City Center AutoCAD and SketchUp files. This week's focus was updating the SketchUp and AutoCAD files with the correct furniture and design details for the social dome, dining dome basement, and pool. You can see some of this work here. Ron Wang, mechanical engineer, continued with his seventh week working on the energy modeling for our LEED Platinum Certification and City Center Open Source HVAC Design Tutorial. This week he ran parametric comparisons of the different glass assemblies in terms of energy performance and monthly heat load comparisons. Elizabeth Kahn, environmental consultant, also completed her 18th week as a researcher. This week, she continued researching the most sustainable faucet options by finishing benchmarking the sustainability of all the major faucet-providing companies and writing the results summaries that we'll be adding to the website. You can see her work here. And Zayu Zhu, mechanical engineer, also completed his fifth week increasing the capacity and finalizing the rainwater catchment designs for the city center. This week, he updated the zonal graph for the rain collection, calculated each zonal area, updated all the slopes, and attempted an initial 3D model of the dome. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued with week 14 of our development of the open source lake and water retention landscape design tutorial. This week, we created the isolated views shown here of all the dam types and related topographical maps for placement. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include Comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete. Summaries and integration of all the best known alternative education programs, including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued working on the redesign of the ultimate classroom. This week, we updated the shelving unit, wall colors, and added a window shelf and bean bags to the indigo room. We also added colors to the walls and a science table to the green room, and colored the walls, updated the table, and added decorations to the blue room. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, 
includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team working with Brian Gilb, project management professional, continued developing the highest good network software charter. The focus this week was the dashboard functionality, volunteer user experience for accessing information, and navigation within the software. The core team also completed the hours estimates for the complete work breakdown structure for everything remaining to be finished so we can begin construction. You can see most of this completed work here. And Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, continued with his 34th week as part of the marketing team by continuing development of the branding OCG initial data visualizations, keyword research, and researching and analyzing user behaviors and search histories. You can see some of this work here. There you have it, one of our longest videos uh, and updates because I talked so long about community as a path to meeting the six human needs. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links, and read about this stuff, visit our website, visit our written blog. If you'd like an email every time one of these updates comes out, send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. And of course, if you'd like to help out, visit our helping page. Um, the easiest way to help out is to join us on social media, to like this video, uh, to subscribe to our YouTube channel, to ring the bell so you get our weekly updates, you can manage your updates that way if you'd uh, prefer that rather than sending us an email and getting our newsletter list. Uh, but we're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible to access our information, to share our information. We are on LinkedIn, we are on Pinterest, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on Facebook, we are on Twitter, we are on Instagram, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible for you to access our information, for you to share our information, and for you to participate in whatever way works best for you. And if that just means watching to the end, hey, Thanks for watching the end. That helps with our YouTube rankings. And so it's a big deal. If you just watch to the end, uh, it helps our videos get more exposure. So thanks for that as well. We do appreciate it. Every little bit makes a difference. If you've donated to our project, if you've emailed us, if you've commented on our videos, all that stuff helps. So thanks. Thanks for helping out in the way that works best for you, even if it's just sending us good vibes. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.